Let's talk about Asset Protection 101. Just the basics for business owners. What do you want to do to protect assets? The number one asset that I hear business owners wanting to protect in my life, in my practice as a business lawyer, is their personal assets. They understand they're going into business. They understand there's a great deal of risk with business. But what they don't want to do is lose their home, lose their personal possessions, lose their bank accounts. And there are certain strategies that can be implemented that can minimize that risk, control that risk. One of the big ones being having a proper legal entity and running that proper legal entity in the correct way. Obviously, the way claims can be made and the way these entities can potentially be pierced or looked through by courts will vary from state to state. So you want to work with a lawyer that is licensed in your state that can help you work through those issues. But you want to build a proper structure. So the first piece of Asset Protection 101 is separating your business from your personal assets and attempting to build some type of firewall between your personal assets and your business assets. The next piece of it becomes how do we organize those assets? Do we make those assets harder to go after? Do we make those assets harder to find? And for many people, the answer is yes, we want this additional protection. So there are layers of privacy protection that can be done. If you go check out our channel, we just recently did a video about whether privacy protection makes sense for you and your business. So you can go check that out after this video. So we talk about privacy protection as one layer, but then we can also look at entities and how they work and work together to make sure that we have the right layer of protection. Now, a lot of people have read and heard about offshore structuring, building assets and putting assets in foreign countries. And for some people, that level of asset protection structuring may be practical. Many people find that very expensive and the cost may not be worth the benefit, which is why you're going to want to sit down with an experienced lawyer who's done asset protection planning, talk about your situation, talk about your finances, talk about your business holdings, talk about your business finances, talk about your potential claims and issues that may arise in your future based on your lifestyle, based on the way you do business, and then look for an appropriate strategy to give you as much protection as you desire for the cost level that you're willing to incur. Sometimes, not only does it cost money to set up the structures, but it costs money to administer and keep these structures rolling. So sometimes we see people that are jumping into asset protection very early and spending a lot of money on asset protection when they don't have sufficient assets to protect. But a good lawyer can help you reach that balance. So make sure you reach out to somebody who knows these issues, this experience that can help you talk about how to structure those assets, how to build the firewalls, and what's appropriate for your situation and what's not. Do you have questions about business law? Feel free to drop them in the comments. But remember, comments are not confidential, so leave your comments and questions general in nature. Do not put your specific facts there or things you do not want other people to see. If you enjoyed this video, we have a whole library of past videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we'll have even more tips coming for you very soon. Thanks for tuning in today. Look forward to seeing you for another video very soon.